I want to play for you today uh, two movements of the Bach uh, partita in G major. The first movement and then a, a short movement later on, which I'll tell you about later. Um, the first movement is called Preambulum, which sounds like Latin, uh, prelude or preamble. And I just thought I'd play a few of the things that happen in this piece, because you can then sort of know where you are on the map as you're listening. Uh, the very first theme comes back three more times uh, after just a few other ideas we hear. Same thing in a higher key. Let's say, oh, now we're here. And then Later still, we're going to hear it once more, this time in E minor. It's still a little higher. And the last time we hear it um, is pretty near the end. Not the end, but near the end, because there's a coda. But we hear... And so much has happened before we get to that that I want to show you if just before we get back to that theme and say, oh yeah, we heard that at the beginning, um, there's a, um, a, a wonderful part where there's a scale in each hand, but the, the when the left hand is going up, the right hand is coming down, so it's called contrary motion, and it's pretty exciting, and it's after a lot of other stuff has happened, so I'm just going to play that for you. It's a few bars before C major comes back. And there we are. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is very common in music, especially Baroque music, where um, one hand is so that you hear the two voices like two different instruments playing, um, one of the things the composer will write is, this, no, that's not the one I want to show you, go, uh, yeah, where one hand is playing detached notes, like separate bows or a cello plucking, and the other hand is very smooth legato, great word, it sounds all smooth and gooey. Um, and so we hear it could be flute playing with a cello plucking or harpsichord or a piano. So we hear this. And then those scales I told you about. Now, the, another one more place that's just wonderful where the hands are playing different. One hand's playing legato and the other hand's playing change roles as if they're having a conversation. No my way, no your way. Um, so we hear this. And so forth. So it's a wonderful piece. Enjoy. And then we'll play one more short piece. Partita, G major, prelude.
Now the other short piece I want to share with you, the composer writes tempo diminuetto, the tempo of a minuet, the famous one, we know, a leisurely minuet, but it's not at all like a minuet that gets danced to. What this piece does, and I was so delighted to find it, uh, it, it uses a, a technique called hemiola. Hemiola is a Greek word, and it has to do with proportions of threes to twos. So musically, what's happening, and it's a great example, that we, we have six eighth notes, six little short notes. We can count, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet, or we can count one and two and three, and, but the Little eighth notes are the same speed, but the one way with the triplets, we get two beats, one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two, and with the other way, we get three beats, one and two and three, and so it's very different. So why don't you stand up and face me, and we're gonna dance in place. Start on your left foot, I'm gonna mirror you, and we're gonna go one triplet, two triplet, bend your knees, loosen your joints, one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet. Okay, so you alternate feet at the beginning of each triplet. Left, right, left, right, left, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, one triplet, two triplet. Sort of bend your knees like you feel your feet on the floor. One triplet, two triplet. Now the other way, it's going to go one and two and three and, and we're on the same foot for each beat. One and two and three and. So now we're going to do two bars of triplets and then switch to two bars of duplets. Ready? One triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two. Switch. One, two, three, one two, back to triplets, one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet, one, two. Now sometimes the music doesn't have the ads, it just goes one triplet, two triplet for a while, and then switches to one, two, three, but the same, the, the, the eighth notes stay the same speed. I'll, I'll play a little part of this piece that does that. So, Um, this this will have I'll play two bars of triplets and then we switch to quarter notes. So we hear one triplet, two triplet, one triplet. So one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet, one triplet. Okay, you hear it? One triplet, two. Triplet. Now sometimes the triplets go on for so long that we get mesmerized with triplets. So it's pretty shocking when it switches. Um, I'll show you one of those. It, the triplets play for f eight bars <laughs> before it switches, or maybe more than that. Okay, so here's the piece. It's pretty short. I'm going to take the repeat so you have a chance to hear the triplets and the duplets.
Enjoy.